Welcome back to Finch Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC. My name's Kevin DeBrita, and I know I've been talking about doing this vehicle for quite some time, and I'm going to get that taken care of today, and that is going through the full settings menu in this particular Cadillac XT6. As you can tell, it is uh, fairly well equipped. It has the uh, automatic parking sensors, which are on the side here. Uh, we've also got uh, our rear parking sensors and front parking sensors, which we can turn on and off the auto stop bypass and lane keep assist on the side if you're looking for the four ways hiding right up here at top so settings let's jump right into the menu uh, we've got our systems menu our apps menu and our vehicle menu i'm going to spend the time right now in the vehicle menu because that is where most of you are going to make changes We'll start with number one, rear seat reminder. Rear seat reminder is going to give you an alert in your driver information center right here uh, in the event that uh, the back doors have been open and closed within 10 minutes or operating the vehicle to let you know that you left someone or something in the back seat. Uh, if you'd like to turn that off, we can do that right here. I'm gonna leave it on for now. Climate and air quality. You can see we've got quite a few features in here. Auto fan speed, some people prefer a lot of air blowing and some people do not. Uh, from the factory, it's set in the middle range, but if you prefer to have a lot more air blowing in the automatic setting, you can set it on high. If you prefer to have the air very quiet, you can leave it on the low setting. I'm gonna put this car back to the medium setting. Automatic cooled seats turned on, automatic heated seats turned on when the temperature is right outside. So if it's really hot, we're going to turn on our heated seats. And if it's cold, sorry, if it's really hot, we're going to turn on our cooled seats. If it's cold, we're going to turn on our heated seats. And that'll happen uh, automatically when you're using the remote start feature. Auto defog is also turned on. So that would be for your front windshield and the rear defog is turned on. Ionizer. This is an electronic air purifier that's built into the vehicle. When you're using your automatic climate control, the ionizer will be on and that will clean the air. In addition to the cabin filter, the ionizer will clean the air inside the vehicle. Collision detection systems. This one has the safety alert seat. So uh, you can set it to either beep at you when your forward collision alert or your rear parking sensors and front parking sensors activate or you can use a safety alert seat, which it will vibrate. Personally, I'm a fan of the safety alert seat, but if you're not aware that it's on your vehicle, it might uh, shock you a little bit when it does vibrate, uh, giving you those warnings. Forward collision alert. We do have it currently turned on. It is going to alert and break. Um, you'll notice right here, it says it will help reduce the collisions severity. So this isn't necessarily going to stop you from impacting the vehicle in front of you. It can stop you from impacting the vehicle in front of you, but it will reduce the severity of the impact. I've been testing the system out quite a bit, um, safely, of course, trying to get the vehicle to break itself and, uh, I'm uncomfortable to let it go that long. So you are going to get the warnings through your forward collision alert. Uh, in this vehicle, it's going to be in the heads up display, which is right there. And of course the seat is going to vibrate because we have the safety alert seat. And then if you did not respond to that, it would then break. Uh, but it is not supposed to break all the time. <clears throat> Most of the time you're going to break before the car actually does. Front pedestrian detection system. This vehicle will pick up people walking through the path of the vehicle. Uh, if it thinks they may get in front of the vehicle, it will then um, alert you. And of course, if needed, we'll apply the brakes, just like your forward collision alert. This is just for pedestrians. Uh, how you know the car has picked up a pedestrian, again, in the driver information center, you will see an orange person walking. I apologize, I don't have a picture of that right now, but it will show up in here if the vehicle picks up somebody in the uh, front pedestrian detection system. Lane change alert, uh, often called blind spot monitors. That's the picture of the little car you can see in there and the star. The first generation systems only picked up people, uh, sorry, only picked up vehicles, bicycles, and motorcycles that were actually in your blind spot at that moment. This new system with the lane change alert is also added if something is rapidly approaching your blind spot, whether it be another vehicle, a motorcycle, a bicycle, 
it will illuminate before they enter your blind spot. Uh, so just one more uh, way Cadillac has been uh, increasing the technology in the vehicle. Not only will it pick up people in your blind spot, but if somebody is going to be in your blind spot shortly, it will also alert you of that. The way that it alerts you is these will light up in orange and stay solid if there's somebody in your blind spot or approaching your blind spot. If you have your turn signal on, they will flash. And so that's the two stages. There is no audible uh, as you can imagine, you know, driving down a busy highway, if it beeped every time somebody got in your blind spot, you'd never be able to listen to the radio. Uh, so no audible alerts or vibrations for this the uh, lane change alert. Rear cross traffic. So if we're in reverse and somebody's coming from the right or the left, whether it's a pedestrian, a car, a cyclist, uh, or anything that's traveling in those directions, it will alert you by using this symbol here on the right or the left. And that just is going to get you to draw your attention to uh, somebody or something might be getting in your way as you're backing out of that particular parking spot. Rear cross traffic and rear uh, pedestrian detection. So the same thing that's going to happen in the front uh, if somebody is going to be in the way of the vehicle while you're reversing the vehicle. This vehicle also has rear pedestrian detection. That's our collision detection systems. Comfort and convenience. Chime volumes, you can make them really loud. I don't know why. I've never had anybody want to turn this up. So I will close that. Hands-free lift gate. Right now we have it set to open and close. So in the back and at nighttime uh, mostly, you'll see the Cadillac logo on the floor. And you just want to do a simple kind of front and back kick motion through that Cadillac logo with a key in your hand or in your purse, and that will open the door. Uh, open the tailgate, I should say. It will also close the tailgate. Before it closes, you'll get a quick chime letting you know that it did read your kick signal and uh, the tailgate will close. Reverse tilt mirror, love this feature. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it on the passenger setting for a minute and I'm gonna put the vehicle in reverse. And it's going to tilt that mirror down so that we can see the lines. Now, in this particular vehicle, we have the 360 degree camera, which we're looking at right now. So it may not be as beneficial in this vehicle as it is in some of the others. But tilting it down allows you to see the curb. It allows you to see the lines. Um, I like doing the passenger side so that if I'm parallel parking, I can still see the traffic behind me. Um, but you are able to, since it's your vehicle, to have it on driver's side, passenger side, both sides, or keep it off. And I'll leave it turned off in this vehicle for right now. Automatic mirror folding, we can turn that on. So if you double lock your doors, uh, the mirrors will fold in when you get in the vehicle. Rain sense wiping, we have that uh, turned on. A lot of cars will have your uh, intermittent wipers, which is right here. This is actually how fast your auto wipers are going to work or how much debris is going to be on the windshield before the wipers engage. It's not raining right now, so if I turn on my um, automatic headlamps, or sorry, automatic wipers, they're going to pass once, and then they're not going to pass anymore until it starts to rain. So super fantastic feature. And of course, we're gonna leave that turned on. Auto wipe in reverse. If you've got your front wipers on and you go backwards, it's gonna automatically wipe the uh, rear, um, turn on the rear wiper once so that it is nice and clear. While I'm talking about the rear wiper, um, that is right in here. So right now it's off, intermittent and on. We'll turn that back to off, but we are going to leave on the auto wipe in reverse. Comfort and convenience, lighting. We can uh, choose to leave our vehicle lights on for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or 120 seconds after we leave the vehicle. We can have to also have them turn off right away. Vehicle locator lights, if you're using the key fob um, and uh, you want to open the um and you unlock the vehicle from the key fob, the lights will illuminate to light up your vehicle at nighttime. Power door locks, nothing in here to really change because um, you don't want to lock your keys in the car. So I suggest leaving all of these um, settings exactly the way they are. Where you may want to make some changes in the is in the remote lock, unlock, and start feature. 
Uh, this is, and I'm just gonna scroll down to it, to our passive door lock. This will lock the vehicle when you leave the vehicle with the keys. You can have it lock with a quick horn chirp, or you can have it lock silently if you don't want the horn to go off inside of your garage. Speaking of your garage, a lot of my customers do park in the garage, leave their vehicles unlocked, and they'll leave the keys in the house. They don't wanna turn on the passive lock just in case they need to come back to the car and retrieve something. Passive door unlock currently set up to driver door only. You can also set it to all doors. This way, uh, when you unlock the driver door using the keyless access button on the outside, all the doors will unlock. Um, the other way you can do that is in this mode, if you double press that silver button on the outside of the door, it will then unlock all of the doors. See, we missed anything and uh, skipped by anything. So remote flash feedback remote lock feedback most of the time now we're not using our remotes to do any of these so you likely won't make a change there um, remote window operation if you hold the unlock button on your vehicle with this feature turned on for about three seconds it will put down all the windows in the vehicle reason it comes uh, default off from the factory i had a customer keys in the pocket bent over push that unlock button for three seconds rolled down all of his windows while his car was outside was unaware and the next morning he came into his car and it was full of snow so a great feature uh, just be very cautious of it you don't want to accidentally roll your windows all the way down and be unaware of it remote left in vehicle alert please leave this on uh, anytime you leave the vehicle so the vehicle is running right now if i leave and i take the keys with me i'm going to hear beep 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 and that's just a reminder that something is not right. In that case, I took the keys with me and the vehicle was running. Also, if I left the keys in a cup holder or in the vehicle and I turned off the car and I got out, I would hear that same beep, beep, beep to remind me that I do need to retrieve my keys from the car. Seating position. We have uh, obviously memory seats and our easy exit seat in this vehicle. Uh, memory seats are located right on the side of the door. We have our set driver number one, driver number two, and our easy exit position. And so to move your seat manually, you'll just push and hold and it will move your seat. And move it back into driver position number two, which is not actually programmed yet. And then our easy exit seat, we can program anywhere. Um, so once you have that programmed exactly the way you would like it, you would push and hold. There we go. And so we've now programmed that. So we have an easy exit seat programmed and we have a uh, memory seat programmed in the seat number one. If we turn these both on, when we turn off the car, this is the easy exit memory, it's gonna go into that exit position. And when we get in the vehicle and start it up, it's gonna go into the memory position based on the key that you have. So there is a driver number one key and a driver number two key. Each time you start up the vehicle, it will let you know in your driver information center what key you have so that you can set the appropriate driver, uh, appropriate seating position. And turn both of these off for right now, but we know where we can go to turn those back on. Teen driver, uh, really great feature. A lot of people haven't uh, played with this. I'm just gonna punch in a temporary password here. You set a teen driver key, and then you've got a report card. So every time that car is being driven with that key, you'll be able to find out how far they drove, what the maximum speed was the car was at. Were there any over speed warnings? So that's a, a programmable, if you wanna set say 80 kilometers an hour, anytime the car goes over 80 kilometers an hour, you will get a warning. It'll track all your wide open throttles and of course all of your safety features when they engage. Forward collision alert, automatic braking, traction control, tailgating alerts if you're following too uh, closely, uh, and of course your ABS system. So that's the report card. We can get in here and we can manage settings, turn features on and off, um, change the pin, uh, and also set up keys. So to set up keys in this vehicle, I believe you register them in the uh, pocket, which is in the console down in here. All right. So really cool feature, not something a lot of people use, but uh, I do like that uh, it is available on our vehicle. So seating positions, teen driver, valet mode. Valet mode is gonna lock out your radio. So we used to lock out the glove box and there is still a key in the glove box, although it seems every time somebody locks one and somebody wants in, they're just gonna break it open. 
Um, valet mode in this vehicle will turn off the, the radio, so the radio will not work. You won't have access to any connected Bluetooth devices. Um, it's again, something that doesn't get used very often, but it is in the vehicle and I wanted to talk about it. So that is everything in our settings menu and we're right around the 15 minute mark. I hope I didn't speak too quickly and I hope you learned a lot during this video. For more information on the Cadillac XT6 or any other vehicles with General Motors, continue to check out my YouTube channel. Quick little pan around this vehicle. Gorgeous vehicle, real carbon fiber. Seating for six or seven depending on your configuration. And of course, uh, absolutely gorgeous on the outside. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone.